Alright, welcome everyone. Today, I want to talk about the tier list on Arcane Odyssey. And oh boy, I didn't realize there was so many magic actually. Which is crazy. Some of them are dead, which is unfortunate. But yeah, I kind of want to talk about it. But I want to start off with acid magic real quick. And I'll put my mic a little bit closer in case it's not loud enough. So, I feel like acid is pretty good because it expands the puddle, which I don't think it does that on the ocean surface. And I want to like put it on the tier. I want to judge the magic based on the magic itself, like not like second magic and whatever, but you know. So, like having a second magic makes it more complicated. So, ay ay ay, you know, big yikes. So, focusing on one magic is probably much better. But let's see. For acid, yeah, like I was saying, the puddle might be good, but I don't think it's gonna go on the ocean. And it does damage over time, which is nice. The status effect, like, you do more damage if, like, they have different effect. I guess that depends. Like, if you're using weapon, and you're bleeding them, or making them bleed, and you're, like, applying acid after, maybe that's good. Actually, acid feels really good because just the damage over time in general and it has more explosion under sea, under sea level which is good. That's also nice but I like the damage over time and the bleeding has potential. Yeah. I'm not gonna talk about other effects because that would make the video super long but and that also involves like second magic or if you have friends so. <laughs> But I, I feel like um, I feel like acid might be like um, feels like um, S or A. I don't know. It feels like a S tier. I feel like because the damage over time it's a little bit on A or it's between A or S. I think I'll leave it there on S for now because well, I don't know. It, it just feels that way because we don't know the damage yet for acid so I'll leave it on S for now <laughs> maybe I'll change my mind later but next I think yeah next I want to talk about ash which is all the way down at the bottom which isn't isn't that good I feel like maybe like the petrified sounds cool but you know <clears throat> let's see if you do more than 33% of the targets HP which then again, if, if you're like, if you're doing damage damage, you're probably higher level than the enemy. So, but then again, that depends on late game. So I feel like this is hard to reach. So, I mean, it sounds good, but it's not actually that good. So then the other effects is more damage if they're bleeding. But then again, you have like acid, it has more damage over time. And it has, you know, just about the same thing as Ash. So Ash basically, it's just a normal magic basically, if you're basing off of its own effects basically. So, it feels very mid, or like C or D, like, I might just leave it there just because like, it doesn't feel like it would do much. Let's see, does it cover like, obstruct your eyesight or whatever? No, it doesn't, it's just... Yeah, I'll just leave it on D, which is over here. Like, There's so many magic guys, hopefully you're not confused. But next, I think it's crystal. Yeah, let me let me select the crystal. Oh my god, what's happening to my screen? Anyways, doesn't matter. Alright, I want to talk about crystal. Crystal is actually really interesting. Um, Because once you hit 4 times, you do 1.5 times more damage. I don't know if it's for that hit you're doing, or if it's like, overall, but I think it's like 1.5 times the hit that you do after the 4th hit. So like the 5th hit basically, you do more damage. That's what I assume, which is pretty good. And I think it's like, it's like late game potential. So, it has potential, but I don't think early game is gonna do much until you get like, fighting style maybe 
because you can do barrages with those, you know, so like you can do really fast attack. Maybe with like, with like weapons, like for crystal. So I think I might leave it at B because it has potential and it's like a little bit weird, you know. Yeah, I mean it has more effects than Ash, kind of. Yeah, Ash, you need to like do a lot of damage to petrify the enemy, which I don't see a lot in World Magic, so it didn't really do much, honestly. So, but yeah, after that, I think we have Earth, or wait, what happened to my thing? Oh, I used the wrong select. So it's Earth. They didn't rename Earth. Let me check. Oh no, Earth is still Earth. <laughs> But Earth is, oh wow, it does have a lot of effect. It's like, it's like Ash, you know, you give bleeding, but except it's worse. Ash has like a better effect. But I know Earth is like a medium slow, like, like attacks. How fast it attacks is like, it's not that fast attacking speed wise, but it does do a lot of damage. So I feel like it might be better than Ash because like, it's heavy, right? So it's gonna do more damage, so... Probably really good with fighting style, honestly. But maybe the casting speed for it would be slower. So I wanna leave it at C. Also, um... Other magics are obstructing the view, so... I think I might leave Earth at C. It's either C or B, maybe. Because... I know it will do a lot of damage, probably. But we don't know that yet, so... Based on the effect, I think I'll just leave it at C. So, yeah. And then next, I think it's Explosion. Which is pretty popular. Yeah. And then let me find Explosion. Okay. And Explosion, this chart effect, which partitionally, part, 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 you know, basically obscures vision, you know. I can't say the words sometimes, but. That's not that much, honestly. Let's see. I mean, you block their sight, but they still do a lot of damage. And you do more damage if they're bleeding, so I guess that's like for weapons, right guys? Like, the bleeding effect might be for weapons. Um, I don't know. Uh, it feels like an Ash. It might, I, I might put it on D or C, you know? I don't know, I had to play it first, I feel like. I mean, like, play it in World Magic, and it seems fine, but... Based on the effects... I guess it's, like, a little bit better than Ash, since it does block your ice sign. But I don't feel like that does much. Yeah, I don't know, it depends how much it blinds you. I'll just leave it at D for now, you know? <laughs> you know, just being biased. Basically, even though I have main explosion in World Magic. Um, and then next we have fire. Oh, fire is popular. Oh boy. Probably a lot of people going to go fire, right? Because the burn effect, you know, also it's red and... Oh my god, what is this long list? <laughs> okay, it removes bleeding. So that's also for weapons, maybe? So that's really good. Burning effect. Okay, that's definitely above A already. Or near A, right? The only problem is that you can't use it in the ocean, which I assume is like 50% of the gameplay. Like just doing ocean stuff, maybe, um, hopefully. Cannot be used underwater. Oh shit. Ugh. That's really bad. Um, you do more damage if they're burning, which you can do that, which is really good. I don't know. Uh, it's because I might put it on an A+. Plus. It feels like an A+, plus because of the ocean part, which I feel like would be a big part. And then tar if target's sweating from high temperature, I think that's when you like move a lot, you know, stamina, right? When it's slow or something. I don't know. I'm not sure about the last one, but it does sound really good. But based on like the ocean, because like I know fire does a lot of damage, but like if it doesn't work on the f ocean, it means that you can't really hit anybody. Like, the enemy can just hide under the ocean, like a player or something. It would just go under there and like, you know, you, you guys get it. So I'll just put it on A. Like, it feels like an A+. Plus. It could be S. Depending on later on how it works, I guess. 
And then what else is next? I think it's glass. Oh yeah, I looked at glass earlier. Oh no, I made gold and glass together. I need to fix that. Give me a second. Anyways, for glass, it seems really OP because it doesn't have a lot, but it gives bleed and it does more damage if they're bleeding, right? Like that's like fire, but except there's no negative effects, right? So I might put that above S, but I feel like fire can like explode more, but I don't know that. So I'm just going to put it on S, right? Um, based on the effects, you know? But we'll find that out soon enough, right? When it comes out tomorrow, which is great. Or actually, it's today. Right now, it's 3 a.m. Saturday. It's gonna come out in like... Oh, boy. I need to sleep, guys. I need to prepare for this. And then metal. Oh. Yeah, it's like a picture of the gold, but... I think gold got mixed into the metal area. Like, it's called metal magic now. It used to be like... I think it used to be iron and gold magic, right? But now it's just metal, but it gets bleeding if you do more than 5% of the target's max HP, which isn't bad. You can do that easily. So it's like glass, but except it's heavier and probably slower. But the effects is worse than glass, but I know it will do more damage. I don't know that. Like, it doesn't tell me how much damage it does, but based on the effect, I'll probably put it on A. But I want to put it on S just because I know it's going to do more damage. Just like fire, basically. Um, but yeah. Man. My favorite magic is all like all down there. Besides glass, I think. I like glass. And maybe crystal. And then I did like ash a lot and explosion. And they're all down there. <laughs> it's bad. It's bad. But anyways, next we have ink. Oh wait, ink? Oh, ink is dead, guys. Ink is dead. Don't worry, like, don't worry about that, guys. <laughs> oh man, that's so sad, guys. Ink got removed, basically, you know. But anyways, we have ice next, which has potential, honestly. Anyways, okay. So on the ice, wait, where was it? Why? Oh, forty percent more if they're bleeding. So. That's really good if you're putting it on weapon or something. If you can bleed someone with the weapon. And like imbuing your weapon with ice energy. I don't know. I guess it depends how you're going to bleed. I don't know if weapon will bleed them even actually. But it sounds nice. But it also explodes under sea level which is nice. And also I'm going to go out my way. And just like. Because like water. It will probably... Ice will freeze if they're soaked. And when you're on the ocean a lot, it will probably matter a lot, so... Yeah... I mean, it'll probably freeze them on the ocean, because the ocean's gonna apply the soak effect, right? And then you'll freeze them, and then you do 25% more damage, right? So that would be really good. Um... Yeah, because the crowd control, I feel like, might be really OP, maybe? And I do like crowd control. Wow. The CC. I, I feel like it's an A or S. Um. I, I'll put it on. Like late game, like the ocean base type of battles. You might It might be S. But if you're on the ground, it's just kind of like. You know, like. I think I put it on A, right? I put ice on A. Just because I'm not sure about it yet. And there's like... Missing information, basically. I think I remember there was a video of ice, but... Eh, you know, I, mean, I haven't looked at any video, you know? Like, yeah, whatever. And then, well, let's talk about light next. Okay, for light... Light gets blind and it's... Explode less. Okay, I mean, I assume it's fast. Seems alright, you know, it blinds. Um, it feels like a... <laughs> it feels like a shadow. Wait, not shadow, explosion moment. But except it... Might be a little bit better. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Oh my god. <sighs> it's, 
I feel like I remember it being really fast in World Magic. I want to be a little bit biased here. I want to put it on B, guys. Because it's like fast attack speed, you know? I don't know. It's B or C. I'm going to put it on B, you know? I'm feeling nice, you know? I don't know. Um, I'm more judgmental on the magic I like, so... <laughs> So I, I'm thinking of V for light, you know? But it has potential because of how fast it could be, right? And then lightning, oh boy, lightning is so popular, guys. Oh my god. Let's see. Okay, lightning removes bleeding status effect and has more AoE on the C. I don't think it paralyzes, right, guys? Water, cosmic electric charge. Is more of the oh shit if they're okay okay never mind if they're soak okay you can go up like sir yes sir okay I think it's an A just because twenty five percent is really large really big that's crazy and like because you're on, you're on the ocean mostly holy shit I didn't I actually didn't see this part until like I remember that you know if you're playing on the ocean with ice you can freeze so there's that. God, that's gonna be annoying. Having lightning do like so much damage. Jeez. Anyways. Next we have where's magma? Am I touching magma guys? Hello? Oh wait, my magic one is is not selected. There we go. Magma, there we go. Anyways. It makes a puddle, I assume. Okay, whatever you touch, I guess. I'm assuming it works on the ocean. And damage over time, really good. Remove bleed, does 20% more damage, that's fine. Does more damage if it's melting, I assume that's what you apply, right? Magma does melting damage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And 20% more sin if they are sweating. I feel like it might be like a better version of fire, maybe? It might be a little bit slower. I think based on the effect, I'll just put it on S. Like, if you're bleeding, I mean, no, if you're like doing damage over time and making puddles, you kind of like you're restricting space of the opponent or making space for yourself. So I guess you can, it depends how you use it, like magma wise, with the puddles and stuff. So, yeah, maybe a little bit biased, but eh. I think it's uh, S. Just because <laughs> it has less restriction than fire, so yeah, uh huh. I think I'm fine with it right now. And then next we have oh, this is depressing. My favorite magic, dead. Goodbye. Anyways, three, six feet under. You know, guys, that is paper magic for you. Very nice. Very nice. Hello. Wait. Oh, this one doesn't have any selection. What happened here? I thought I put plasma magic here, guys. What? Anyway, I guess I just... I'm sleeping. It's like 3 a.m. Like mentally, I'm sleeping. <laughs> Anyways. Where's plasma magic? I know I saw it earlier. There we go. Plasma magic. Removes bleeding. Does 20% more damage. Which is nice. If your weapon can bleed. Um, get swords. Damage over time. Even better. Um... Like fire. Oh, turns into steam when you touch the sea. Like fire. Can't be used underwater. Okay. Oh, it's like... Wait, isn't this the same thing as fire? Guys? Oh, you do more damage if they're in sweating, I guess. Um, I guess it's a little bit better. Um... <laughs> Removes bleeding dust temper. Oh wait, I guess plasma is much better a version of fire. What the hell? What's going on, guys? Maybe it will do like more damage overall, like for fire. Based on the fact, I think it's. I feel like it's S, guys. I don't know. It might be like a A plus like fire. But I put it on S just because I know it's a little bit better than fire. <sighs> ah, crap. I don't know. I like damage over time. All of S does damage over time. Damage over time is just OP. You know, the dot damage, guys? God damn. God damn, god damn. Hate them, you know? Once you get bit hit by it, it's like the inescapable. Unescapable. 
What am I saying? And then next, we have poison. Oh man, poison is probably going to be good, right? Poison status effect, more damage if they're bleeding, deep cloud. Oh, okay, that's OP. What's the negative? Gross poison cloud colliding with them? Okay, do you more. Where is the negative? Come on. Oh, ice if they're frozen. But then again, how are you going to fro. Nah, poison is definitely like. Like, definitely like a little bit here. <laughs> and I feel like it's a little bit better than acid. Like, <laughs> I'll put it. Ah, I mean, I can't sort it out now. Okay, I'll, I'll, you know. I guess don't mind if I put it like a little bit towards the side, right? You know, a little bit lazy here, you know? I hope you guys don't mind. Please, do not judge me. Anyways, let's move on to the next one. Um, Next, we have sand. Sand? Uh, I don't know. Sand's kind of like... Nobody uses it, you know? It's just there. It's like snow. Right? But except snow sounds cooler. I don't know. Just me. But it makes piles on content. I guess that's like on uh, on ground. Not like... You know, it doesn't make puddle like magma on like water or whatever, right? So... Gives sand effect. Obscure vision. Does more damage if depleting. So like basically better than light. I would put it on A, but like it's definitely in between light or crystal. I'll put it here and then like fix light real quick. All right, there we go. Fixed it, and then now we have shadow. Where was shadow again? There we go. Oh, are these all negative? Do less damage. Do less damage. Do less damage. Do I even have to say anything? <laughs> Do I have to say anything, bro? Like, I just feel bad for Shadow. What happened, bro? <laughs> um, alright, um... <laughs> okay, um, Snow. Expands pile, it's like sand. Except there's no bonus damage. Okay. I mean, oh, okay, it does freeze when you apply the soak, which is, you know, a little bit below ice, I guess. I don't know, guys. I need to check the water effects for all of these magic, right? But, and I think it's too late, but snow. Like, it's like a lesser version of ice. I put it on B. Because ice has more effects, you know, so like it's more universal utility wise, right? It has more utility. There we go. That's the word I was trying to find. Um, okay, that's fine, I guess. Then we have water. Do I even have to say water? Water is good for like support magic, basically, just to apply, <laughs> apply puddles, make them soak. Oh, great. The target run with lightning, ice, another type of magic. Yeah, which is complementary to water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is great, you know, a lot of magic works with water. But if you're just using water, it's like a meh. It does have bl does more... Does more AoE, and does do more damage to bleeding, but... I don't know. It's kind of weird. I'll put it on B, right? It's alright, you know, on its own, I think, right? It's alright, but it's alright. So, yeah. And then we have wind. Where is it? Um, let's see. Yeah, this is wind, right? There we go. Okay, we're gonna move wind. What does wind do, anyways? Does anybody even use wind? I think I've seen a few actually. Uh, where's wind? Oh, past it. Got gotcha. you. Does not worry, AOE if they're under. Oh, okay. I mean. What about moose soap? Oh, that's bad, dude. God, I mean, I guess it has more knockback, I think. I remember from Grow Magic. But since it doesn't really have anything, I'll put it on like a good old. You know, I'll, I'll put it down here, you know? <laughs> good old D tier. <laughs> I mean, it's a little bit better than the rest, but I don't think 0 0.5 times is that good, right? You know, like, it, it's negative, basically. 
Okay, well, I mean, it's better than fire, you know? Doesn't work at all. Ah, oh, kind of sucks, right? At least you're not paper or ink magic. Funny. Oh, they don't even exist anymore, bro. Literally got vanished to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> but anyways, we have the last one, which is wood. Here's bleeding if there if it does five percent or more, which is great, I guess. Um, there's not really much to it. Um. It's like gold, but except there's not that much restriction. Did gold, or I mean metal, is there more restriction? Nah, it's the same thing, bro. But except I think wood might be faster. It is probably with wood, you know? They can like, they can be friends, you know? I'll put it on B, A. You know, they're all on A, you know? They can be homies up there, you know? But yeah, I think that's it for the tier list, guys. Or first impression, honestly. It's almost 30 minutes. Wow. I'm gonna get editing on this video. Oh boy. 